Should the moon have its own time zone? Doesn't it have one already? Or why can't we just pick a time zone on Earth and set that as the lunar time as well? Well, there are some problems with that idea. And the US has just announced that it intends to establish a new lunar time zone in the next couple of years. So let's talk about why. Before NASA lands astronauts back on the moon in 2026, assuming no delays to the current plans, the US wants to introduce a new time zone on the moon that would be known as Coordinated Lunar Time, or LTC. That's an acronym that's slightly annoying because it's not the letters of those words in the same order. But I think that's to avoid confusion with Chile's time zone, CLT, Chile Standard Time. Also, not the right letters. Creating a brand new time zone for the moon avoids an obvious political problem here on Earth. Which Earth time zone would you pick to use on the moon? Would it be a US time zone? Because I'm sure a lot of other countries wouldn't agree to that and probably would just use a different time zone anyway. To be honest though, that's the smallest problem with choosing an existing time zone for lunar uses. The much bigger issue with that is that time passes at a different rate on the moon than it does on Earth. Sounds confusing, but let's get into it. Gravity affects how fast time passes. More gravity means time passes slower. Einstein explained this to us in his theory of general relativity, and admittedly, it's far too complicated to get into right now. But that's the important thing for this discussion, that time passes slower when there's more gravity. This means that on Earth, which is much more massive than the moon and therefore exerts more gravity, time passes slower. And on the moon, where there's less gravity, time passes faster. If you've seen Interstellar, it's why time passes slowly when they're near the black hole. They experience minutes and hours, while the folks back home experience years in the same time frame. Gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's drastically. Oh, how bad. Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Well, that's relativity, folks. The incredible mass of the black hole means that time moves slowly. In my head, I like to picture the gravity sort of pulling the time back as it tries to pass. That's of course really not what's happening, but that's the mental picture I have in my head to remember which way round it is, and that gravity slows down time. It's a less drastic version of this for the Earth and the Moon. What it means is that even if we started from the same point and we said, right, okay, now it's midnight on the moon when it's midnight on Earth in the UTC time zone, for example. Those times wouldn't stay the same. They would quickly desync as time passes at different speeds on the moon and on Earth. The difference is just under 60 microseconds per day, which is a very small amount. But those differences can very quickly add up and it would become very important very soon. Even satellites in orbit around Earth need to take into account the different gravity that they feel in their orbit compared to the surface of the Earth. Satellites 20,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth need to take into account the difference in how fast time passes in order to get GPS to work properly and accurately. If the clocks on the satellites and on Earth don't say the same time, then SatNav just wouldn't work and it would very quickly drift out. Similarly, if moon landers don't have clocks that match those on Earth or the times they're expecting, they would crash into the moon as their navigation systems wouldn't be accurate. At the moment, there are few enough missions landing on the moon that each mission can be dealt with individually, allocated a timing convention, and that's implemented for that mission. As we start to ramp up the number of missions on the lunar surface, and maybe even begin to establish a permanent presence of humans on the moon, I think we can see why we might need a universal convention. All of those clocks on the moon should say the same time. Of course, there will still be a lot of political arguments about the details of such a time zone if it were to be created. We don't even know how many other countries would recognize it, but I think it would be a useful thing, even if not everyone ends up using it. The European Space Agency is apparently also interested in creating a lunar time zone. So it's going to be interesting over the next couple of years to see if they can work together with the US to create one of these universal time zones. There are also a bunch of interesting questions that would need answering before something like this could be implemented. And many of them don't have obvious answers. For example, what point in space would this new time zone become active? Where would we put the dateline on the moon? 
Do we implement multiple time zones on the moon like we have on Earth? Do we bother with things like lunar daylight savings time for the future moon farmers? And how do we deal with lunar days not always being the same length? And many more questions. I guess this will also lead to conversations about Mars time zones, and time zones for all the other planets, moons and asteroids in the solar system and beyond. The saying will become, it's always five o'clock on one planet. I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions and anything else you have down below. And thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.